So, so at the sort of the more sci-fi end of the spectrum, um, it's we have these these stickers, and, and you're wearing one on your wrist, uh, and um, you can sort of see it up close here. Um, talk a little about this technology, kind of what it could be used for. Yeah. So. Um, you know, the the biostamp, as we call it, is something that we published in science about a year and a half ago. Um, this particular device can measure biopotential. So, you know, EKG, if you put it on the chest, um, EEG or brain waves from the forehead, uh, EMG, muscle activation on your thigh or on your throat to, um, you know, control a wheelchair or play a video game. So that has all been um, qualified and tested. This particular device is um, powered by inductively by a cell phone. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have a tremendous amount of data logging capability in its current format. So you know, the challenges as you implement these systems are bringing together the, the battery, the low power communication, um, and still having the sensing that um, picks things up with the appropriate uh, accuracy that you're looking for in a given use case. And so, um, so we have you know, several steps along the way uh, before we get to the full, completely thin um, bio stamp that you know that you see on my wrist, and um, you know it allows us to go after some uh, initial applications quickly, first in the mm -hmm. consumer space and then in the healthcare space. And, and the idea is, in terms of in terms of sort of powering the sensor technology, is that it, it, essentially it's it, is induction? Is that the word? Where it, it, it... Um, no, not exclusively. I mean, okay. we're we're using um, various types of thin film, oh. polymer, and solid mm -hmm. state batteries. Um, depending on the use case. Um, but the idea is you don't need any, uh, do you need a battery in the actual stamp or does the power sort of come from the radio? Um, so you do, need, you do need a battery that needs to be powered somehow yeah. um, in general. I mean, mm -hmm. energy harvesting can complement um, and extend the, the useful life of the product without recharge, but today those technologies are not efficient enough in a small form factor I to see. be able to do that. So um, th th we have a, another video here uh, without sounds, but we can, um, you know, the, the most gripping possible use case, uh, which is, you know, monitoring the temperature of a adorable sleeping baby. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the idea here is, I mean, every parent has been afraid to put their child to sleep at night, you know, wondering if they're going to spike a fever or have trouble breathing. And by putting something that's thin and conformal and being able to trigger an alert to a smartphone, um, you know, redefines the way that, you know, baby monitors are done, so.